Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is WP2Buffer, WordPress plugin for Buffer App. So this is another class uh, where we're talking about web publishing. So one of the big things with web publishing is being able to make sure whatever you publish on your site goes out and you share it on all your different social networking platforms, whether it's Google+, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, all of that. Simply by sharing the posts that you write on those platforms, you will get more traffic, more views, and it will be good for you. There is nothing bad with sharing your content onto all of these different social networking sites. Now, one of the things, you know, with doing anything is the more manual you make the process, the less likely it is you are going to actually do it. So if you actually, you know, you, you publish publish your content, then you go to the page that you published, and then you share it on Facebook, and then you share it on Google+, and then you share it on Twitter, then you share it on LinkedIn, especially if you are publishing very many posts in a given day. You are most likely not going to do that with all of your posts, and that means you are going to lose traffic, which is a bad thing. So one of the things that I have done, and I have a class on it that, that I did before, is I have started using Buffer App for my social media. Uh, or for my content to be able to publish it over all of my social media. So up until a few days ago, basically what would happen is I would create a blog post or I would publish a blog post that one of my authors wrote. I would go to that blog post and then I would hit the buffer app button. The buffer app button would then share that uh, to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Facebook, to my Google Plus page, all automatically. So that was a pretty good process. It was a little bit of manual work, but, but mostly it was an automated process. What I like though is using this, this WP2 buffer plugin, I can now automate the entire process. So basically, as soon as I hit the publish button, or as soon as I hit the update button, this plugin will automatically notify Buffer, the Buffer app, and put the new content that I've created into my Buffer so that it will share across all of my social networking platforms. So that you understand what's going on, let's go over to the computer so I can I can show you uh, how all this works. But again, this is one of those simple little tools that once you see it, it's just a, just a really great thing. So this, we're just sitting here at my, my Mac computer and I have my Buffer app account open. So with Buffer app, again, I have Google+, I have LinkedIn, I have Facebook, and I have Twitter. This is the buffer. So this is, uh, well, there's a failure there. Um, but this is where uh, all the different um, things that I would be sharing would be stored. This shows the analytics. So this shows the different posts that I have shared in the past while. And this shows the schedule. So, uh, so eight times every day something will get published to Facebook if I have something in my buffer. So this is basically buffer app. And again, I, I have done the, uh, the class on this before. So just take a look for the class for that if you want any more information on it. Now the WordPress, uh, the WP to buffer plugin, if you want to get this, all you do is you go to the plugins page for wordpress.org and it's WP hyphen two hyphen buffer. And this is the plugin. Now there's two versions of this. There is the free version that I'm showing you today and the premium version that'll cost you $30. As with all things, I don't know, decide uh, what it is you, you want to pay for. So basically, if we're going to be looking at this, uh, it's a really, really, really simple plugin. So all you do is you install the plugin on your site that you you should know how to do. And then when you get to your site, you're going to go down and on the left hand side, there's this WP2 buffer and you're going to click on that and that will bring up the page. Now here, we have the buffer authentication. So this is where you would put in your account information uh, for buffer. You have to go through a little bit of process to get a secret key and all of that. But basically it's a simple process. I was able to set it up in about four minutes. So uh, so if you're not connected to buffer, there'll be a little button here that says connect and you hit connect and you, you go through all these stupid uh, settings. Um, then you go to help. Help gives you some some of the, the, the default information, some variable information. So basically if you want in your posts, this type of information, site name, title, excerpt, category, date, URL, or author, you can use this variable and it will automatically post that into the social networking post. Then we go over here to posts. So posts, remember in WordPress we have posts and pages. So what are we going to do with posts? 
So we can either do on publish, we can check this off and it will do something, or on update, we can check this off and it will do something. So basically on update, it will, on these accounts, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, it will post new post uh, colon, the title by uh, the author and the URL. So whenever I update, this will automatically be posted. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. If we go over to pages, it gives you the, the, the same options. You can say what you want to publish to your social accounts and which ones you want to publish to. But it's pretty, pretty simple here. And that, that's all that happens. So whenever I update a post, this will automatically get published. This right here will automatically get published to Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, now, the, the only thing that I, the only problem that I've had with this is this system works. Buffer app works really, really, really really, really well when you do everything manually. When you do things manually, when you publish manually, and when you update manually, it works very, very, very well. Now, I do have other automated processes on my WordPress site uh, to automatically publish posts on a schedule, and I have found with the automatic uh the, the addition of the automatic plugins, this plugin doesn't always work so well. So if we go back and we go to uh, Twitter and we can see where uh, something failed, see this failed, uh, that failed because of the other automatic process. So that is just one of those things to just keep in mind with this. Um, it works really, really, really well when it works. Um, and if you have some little quirks, sometimes it won't work. So, so what I have found if I use in the automatic publishing thing, sometimes there are issues there. Now there is the upgrade. So this this is what you get for uh, for um, for if you don't pay a dime. So so for posts and pages and feedback, it's pretty simple. If you do go and upgrade for thirty dollars a month, it gives you some some additional options that may be may or may not be worth it. So you can send immediately. So instead of connecting to your 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 buffer account and having it go into the buffer, it can send the notification immediately to your social networking sites. You can have more accounts, and you can actually do what's called taxonomy filtering. So you can say should that only uh, posts or pages within certain categories uh, will this get triggered by. And again, you know, it's up to you guys whether or not that that's worth 30 bucks or not. But basically, overall, I have found it to be a, a really pretty good uh, plugin. My only problem is, is with that whole little automatic functionality, you know, for you. You will just have to decide, you know, how you're doing everything and just keep it in mind. Again, with a lot of plugins, just like with a, a lot of other things in technology, in certain circumstances, in certain situations, they work absolutely flawlessly, will work day in, day out until your computer goes in the trash can and you don't have any problems. Uh, other, other situations, you may have minor, 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 small things that cause issues. And so you have to see what situation you are in. What I found with the WP2 buffer, the plugin is it works perfectly uh, for, for when you're doing things manually on your site. But again, if you bring in some of the automatic functionality, sometimes it can cause a quirk. Again, as with everything, you will have to play with it and decide whether it works for you. But it's free, so it's free and it's WordPress, so you might as well play with it. I think it's pretty good. So this was the class WP to Buffer WordPress plugin for Buffer app. As always, I enjoy teaching this class and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.